Cuz you're going to you're going to love this. <laughs> this is true really news with Scott Combs and Tony Vercanis. All the news you're about to hear is true. As far as you know. Miami Craig Hershoff invited a robot to help people you wear contacts, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't. And does, Craig Urshoff was invented a robot to help people like himself who may have difficulty using these special contact lenses they wear for vision problems that can't be helped with regular contacts. The Cliara lens robot can insert and remove the lenses by voice activation. He told WPLG it really helps with dexterity, especially for elderly or disabled people. The robot is being tested in a clinical trial in Boston. FDA hopes to have it out in the market maybe next year. The reason I don't wear contacts is I, my mom told me a long time ago not to, you know, like poke plastic into your eye on purpose. I mean, what are you thinking? See, it's I would be fun <laughs> until someone gets their eyes stuck into. Exactly. You know, I would never use this. No. For any reason, because I have two sons. And I can imagine laying in bed, blissfully slumbering, only to awaken with some sort of robot on my chest jamming. <laughs> and those two taking pictures and laughing. From the Titter Wayback Machine, 1957 or thereabouts. I wasn't actually born yet, so I had to read this elsewhere. From the Pardon My Blooper album. There's an album? There was. I suppose. A woman. I'm not even going to name her. Thank you. <laughs> a woman was a contestant on a quiz show. When asked who authored the Three Musketeers, she confidently replied, Alexander Dumbass. When the audience erupted in laughter, she amended her answer. No, wait. Henry Dumbass. That's it. <laughs> audience members are reportedly still laughing. Uh they didn't shove her off in an iron mask somewhere, did they? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I'm not saying. An unnamed man from Idaho Falls, Idaho, pleaded guilty in a Mammoth Hot Springs court to citations that included walking in restricted thermal areas of Yellowstone National Park after park rangers found him. Was he too hot? With a cooking pot. I'm too sexy for my... And a burlap park. sack. Containing two whole chickens. He was going to boil was chicken? Suspiciously near a hot spring. <laughs> what good's a hot spring if you can't use it for something practical? Witnesses tipped off rangers that a group of 10 people, including a child, were seen hiking towards Shoshone Geyser Basin carrying <laughs> cooking pots. According to the East Idaho News com, the man was ordered to pay fines and has been banned from Yellowstone. For two years. Did they find anybody harvesting noodles or anything? So <laughs> make some sort of boiled chicken. Boy, now there's a treat. <laughs> Nothing better than boiled meat, man. That's why <laughs> nobody hike. talks about Scottish cuisine. Let's hike our butts into a national park for boiled chicken. <laughs> yeah. What well, maybe they brought spices and they were making soup? One maybe didn't, didn't think of that, did you? Yeah, they didn't had stones to use if the chicken didn't work out. <laughs> This is true, really news. Send email to TITR at netradio.network.